Disney's controversial banned movies. Now, as we know, Walt Disney was a very family-friendly man that cared all about families and totally never hated anybody of a specific race. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. What's this dude's name again? Jong Pong. What? Oh, wait, wait. I, okay, I swear that wasn't on purpose. I swear that. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That wasn't like. G Ping. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, somebody said it in chat. And uh, now y'all gotta spam ALM. Okay. Like. Let's see this video though. Fox Akimbo. Shout out Fox Akimbo, bro. Jin Winnie the Pooh? That's the nickname that some people have given to the Chinese leader Xi Jinping after he decided to ban the beloved. Okay, I'm gonna be real, bro. Like, you can't be mad at this when you actually look like this. Okay? You actually look like Winnie the Pooh. I'm not even scared to say this because I'm not visiting China. <laughs> I'm never visiting China anytime soon, actually. <laughs> I've made too many videos on China to ever visit, to ever want to visit. What am I going to see in China? The Great Wall of China? Wow, oh my God, it's a wall. <laughs> Come on now, bro. I'd rather see goddamn something else. They coming for you, kid? Chill, bro. Ch uh, come on. Bear. The reason why is slightly funny. It dates back to the mid 2010s after some people compared a 2013 image of Obama and Xi Jinping walking alongside each other to Dude. Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. After when which, the Tommy? joke stuck. And for the next several years, people would say that the Chinese president looked like Pooh. However, the it's the fact that he saw this and really got mad, bro. That should just go to show y'all. Like these pres presidents and political people, they really be on social media. They know what people be seeing. They know what people be talking about. If they don't, they have like a youth staff that tells them or whatever. They really be doing it. And it's crazy, bro, that they see all this stuff. They see the people complaining about, you know what I'm saying? The genocide's going on, whatever. And they don't give a f Like, no, really think of it. They see everything. And they see what everybody complains about and they don't care. That's why I'll ne you, you can never trust politicians ever from either side. For me, bro, either side, I don't care. Political party in China, the CCP, otherwise known as the Chinese Communist Party, didn't mm. like this comparison. They try to hide it. And so over the past few years have actually been cracking down on the comparisons. They really because banned? they don't want their leader. Did they ban the character of the movie. Now, despite a lot of people's assumptions that know about this, it's not like Winnie the Pooh is outlawed in China. Oh. You can still buy Winnie the Pooh merch. And there's even a Winnie the Pooh ride within Disneyland Shanghai. However, in 2018, it was announced that the Disney film Christopher Robin, starring Ewan McGregor, would be banned in China. This movie never got a theatrical release within China because oh of the Winnie God, the Pooh censorship. Bro. It's possible. Nah, they saw the f at him. Got a theatrical release within China. They saw they saw the more realistic version. They were like, damn, wait, he kind of. Damn, that, uh, Winnie the Pooh kind of does look like him. Oh yeah, we can't release this now. Uh, because of the Winnie the Pooh censorship, it's possible that this was because they, they didn't want the movie? to all oh, go into the actually. movie and then start talking about Winnie the Pooh all at once. If the movie did well there, then you'd have a bunch of people talking about it. with probably a few people cracking a joke or making the comparison, so China instead decided to just walk away and not let the film air within the country in the first place. Mm. But Christopher Robin is just the first of many banned Disney films that we're going to talk about today. I still have plenty of forbidden films yet to discuss, with reasons ranging from the trip? blatant to the bizarre in this latest installment of the book of the band. I don't want to wait another second to get into things, so let's dive in. I think the most natural place to carry on would be to stay in China for a little bit because Winnie the Pooh is not the only film that they've banned in the past. Back in 2006, China had apparently banned Mary Poppins for a very peculiar reason. So let's figure out why. Okay. So Mary Poppins is the story of a magical nanny, played by Julie Andrews, who comes into the lives of a dysfunctional London family and they go on a series of fantastic adventures. The mm. film is often revered as one of the quintessential family classics, with it performing extremely well. I've, ne I've never, well okay, obviously I've never seen this because like I didn't grow up with this, but like, right, did she really do anything? Wait, she kind of bad. Like, all she did is really just pull out an um, umbrella or something and fly with it, right? That's what she did. Fly with an umbrella? I could do that right now. Both at the time and ever since. However, more than 40 years after it was released, back in 2006, the film was banned in China. And the reason- 
I is slightly Anyone? confusing, even after learning what it is. The film does not contain any content that the Chinese wanted censored. It doesn't have a character that wasn't fitting, nothing in the story warranted its censorship. The reason that it was banned was apparently because it mixed live action and animation into one medium. So that's right, they just be doing anything there. So do they watch any like live action mixed mixed cartoon ever? Cartoons? They just they just don't want to see their citizens having fun. I'm not going to lie. They <laughs> China does not want to see their citizens having fun or, or something like that. So this erasure was not exclusive towards Mary Poppins. Other properties such as Space Jam, Blue's Clues, Space Jam, Blue's Clues, Rabbit would no! have also fallen under this umbrella. They too may have been banned back what in. What do they think was going to happen? Like. People Let me gonna preface be inspired this by, by the saying that all the of the sources characters. that I found were written up when the ban was just announced, so I can't say for absolute certainty if the country they actually went through nothing. with it and these were all banned in the end. <clears throat> but at least according to various reputable sources such as Forbes, this was going to happen. Now the reasoning behind this from what I could find was that China was tired of having their children's entertainment reliant on the West. They had previously limited foreign cartoons to only 40% of it. So they was literally mad that a country was doing better than them in movies and stuff like that. That's basically what they're saying. If anything, that makes you look weak because you stopped the movie from releasing there because your movies don't look as good now. Like now you look weak. Time in China. Of course, this jealousy, meant that regardless jealousy. of the quality, don't even if it was a classic like Mary Poppins, a movie of animation and live action would be banned. Whereas a lower quality movie that was just solely animation yeah. would be allowed to stay. But potentially as a means of protecting the Chinese cartoon industry, Mary Poppins had to go. To this very day, I couldn't find any sources on whether or not it's since been unbanned. It may have been, but if it was, this seems to have gone unreported. Moving westward mm. now, we cross one of the world's longest international borders into Russia after they banned a make wartime Disney bad? film 60 years after it was created. Hmm. Oh. Yo, Donald Duck! What the heck, man? Uh, so now we getting into the propaganda films. Now we about to get into the pro- Yeah, this is about to be- It's about to be a rough video, but, uh, while the stream and, and this recording goes, I just want to say, YouTube, this is all educational purposes, you know what I'm saying? We don't support anything absolutely going on here. These are all viral and disgusting things, only educational. These are films that were banned, and we are learning why they were banned in, you know, all different types of places. It's satire. Okay, we don't have to lie, bro. This shit is definitely real. <laughs> There's no point in saying it's satire. It was definitely like real propaganda. Here, improve the mind. I'm not gonna lie, oh I'm a little God. bit worried that this next section is going to get zucked by the algorithm, but we have to do it anyway. If you're not up to date with your dark Disney lore, De Fura's Face is a Donald Duck short film from the early 1940s that a lot of people have seen screenshots from and then assumed that it y meant yo. that Disney was supporting of the Nazi party. They see a still of Donald Duck doing the old hand in the air praising Hitler move, and without context, assume that this short film was pro Hitler. However, in reality, quite the opposite was true. This was actually an anti-Nazi short, and at the oh. end of the film, it's revealed that Donald Duck was having a nightmare, and he rejoices at the sight of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, see, there we go. At least on Wikipedia, the film is described as American propaganda, not Nazi. De Fura's face would win Best Animated Short at the 15th Academy Awards, is regarded as one of the most iconic animated short films of all time, and confirmed that- What if he made like a separate version for propaganda of like Germany or something though? <laughs> that like nobody knew? <laughs> like an actual set, like the opposite exact, like supporting the, the Yahtzees. That would be- <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised bro. The canonical existence of Hitler within the Mickey Mouse universe. However, the film is clearly not without its controversy. In 2010, mm. after an individual had uploaded the film up onto the internet, out in the far east of Russia, in an area called Kamchatka, the film was misinterpreted as extremist material. Therefore, what the a fuck, local bro? court ruled that the film should be banned, adding it onto a list of banned extremist content, which by the mid-2010s had 3,500 entries. Now, I don't know if they got approval from the rest of the country, but banned the film was. 
Well, that was until 2016 when another Russian court noticed the mistake and had the decision overturned, mm. arguing that it was clear to see that the film's portrayal of Nazism was unserious. Donald Duck in the short was a caricature. Therefore, six years after being made forbidden, the ban was lifted I people and saw the viewer's face didn't was see legal the end, to view thought it was actually again. propaganda for him. And we're going to stay way back in the past to talk about our next film. Let's take things back to a short that was released time? almost a hundred years ago. Unless we have any 95 year olds here watching, this short will be older than every single person who's viewing this video right now. That short that is me? of course, The Skeleton Dance. Oh, I love this. I love this video. Yo, the skeleton was freaked out. It's tapping its bones, bro. I put out its bones and started tapping, tapping the other skeleton's ass, bro. That's actually insane. I really thinking of it, yo. That was freaky as hell. What, what was he about to do with that bone? This is 19 Released in 1929, Damn. The Skeleton Dance is one of Disney's earliest ever productions, being the first in a long line of silly symphony short films. As the name Silly Symphony suggests, these were originally silent films with music played over the top. The Skeleton mm. Dance is arguably the most famous Certified of these, the with the film depicting four skeletons that come out of their graves hey, at night hey, hey, and hey, do a hey, little hey. dance. This film is spooky. They did go crazy. It's genuinely kind of creepy. The old school I'm not animation creeped out. really does crazy. Wonders, but that might have been its problem. According to one particular country, this movie was actually too scary for its audience, so the film was pulled. Okay, they must have banned it before because all the stuff I see on the internet, maybe I just got brain rotted by the internet or something. Like, they must have not been used to it because this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. The skeletons, you know what I'm saying, hitting that dance and hitting, hitting them with the goofy little bones or whatever in their hands. It's funny. They hit that shit, what you mean? That country was Denmark. A land that was once home to Vikings, known for their gore and Come brutality, on, were now banning an animated short film for being too scary. According to a Screen Rant article, in 1930, the New York Times reported that Denmark had banned the skeleton dance entirely for being too macabre for audiences. The Does concern that was that the black and white animation, combined with the intense music, was too graphic and frightening for its target audience at the time. Keep in mind that as a Disney production, this would have been seen by kids. Since the cartoon's release, the ban in Denmark has been lifted, and Disney has continued to expand their work in the horror genre following the short's initial right, release. So dumb. Of course, this was an isolated incident that, to my knowledge, has only ever Disney happened back then was once. Diff. I don't think any other Disney film has ever been banned for being too scary. So, for our next entry in the Book of the Band, I want to talk about one of the most common reasons why Disney movies have been banned around the world, and that is LGBT representation. I think it would be fun oh, yeah. if me and you went to a place. Or oh, they're talking about the new films. Oh yeah, you know the Middle East banned all that shit. <laughs> you know the first countries to ban that shit was Saudi Arabia. Uh, what else, bro? I don't know, any Middle Eastern countries, bro. It's a thing. Iran, Together. Afghanistan, Iraq, Are you any one of them. On a date? I think that it would be best to lump all of these in together. Florida? Yeah, Florida. Yeah, I think you're confusing countries and states. Uh, because unlike the other yeah, films I mean, that we Egypt, discussed today Sudan, that have particular Egypt and Sudan distinct are after, reasons for being banned, these no, ones are bad. all essentially different sides of the same coin. Over the past few years, Disney has made strides in trying to incorporate inclusivity into their work. In fact, back in 2022- I wonder if they go in, like, I wonder if they go in just immediately thinking like, oh yeah, because they already know, bro, when they make these movies, these inclusive movies, they already know going in, they're like, oh yeah, we're definitely about to lose like half of these countries or like i don't know how many countries they know for sure they're about to lose the f at least <laughs> they know at least that i wonder if they go in thinking like oh yeah we're about to take a profit loss or a prof profit win they probably do two they promised that 50 percent feel like tommy would be banned in the middle east what if anything i'd blend in better and of their characters would be LGBT or racial minorities. This policy, as well as Disney's general attitude towards representation, has faced pushback from a lot of people for a varying number of reasons. But it's not just individuals that aren't fans of Disney's push for representation, but governments too. While no countries- As long as they keep America, Europe, and China to make their money back, that is true for the most part. I mean, I don't- no, no, okay. Middle Eastern countries have a lot of money, bro. Literally, they have the first trillionaire 
family in Saudi. Well, I don't know if it's true or whatever. They definitely lose in a bag, but if you, if they really have like yeah, America, Asia, Europe, all that, they're they're definitely gonna still make a bag. To my knowledge, have any they're not gonna go broke on any Disney movie showing racial minorities? Many do for sexual minorities. Why do you say AKA racial minorities and I show the f <laughs> the bus? <laughs> this bus. <laughs> No, this character is ridiculous. I don't know why this character is so funny to look at. He's showing racial minorities. Many do oh for sexual God. minorities, aka the LGBT community. Within many countries around the world, but specifically in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia, homosexuality is not legal. And therefore, airing a movie in theaters that has LGBT characters shown to kids is certainly not on the cards. Clearly, this is against Disney's current outlook, and therefore, many of their recent films have been banned in various countries around the world. To list them all off, these movies include Beauty and the Beast. Got all the night. The f Beauty and the Beast have? Was the Beast gay? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like that one. I don't know, that movie we saw in the beginning. <laughs> Wait, what? The candle? Wait, the candle was gay? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Hold on, let me see this, bro. I don't know why. I was expecting, like, the movies that was in the beginning. I don't even know what they're called. Beauty and the Beast? 1991 animated classic, but the 2017 live-action remake. And the reason it was banned was because the character LeFou, played by Josh Gad, is canonically gay in the movie. Oh. If you've seen the movie, why were y'all saying might a be wondering if you've missed Who something. Who said a can? Because it's not like LeFou is out there waving a big rainbow flag whilst he's hunting down the beast. But if you look closely, there is what's been described as a gay so moment sounds at the zesty? end, where LeFou oh, dances with a man for about two seconds. This was enough for Russia to consider banning it, for Kuwait to outright ban it, and for Malaysia to postpone its release and slap it with a 30 oh, plus the Middle East rating. Did? Then we had Damn! It Wait, what was the last part? release and slap it with a 13 plus age rating. Oh. Then we had I thought he was about to say slap it like if you watch you get a, a deaf sense or something. <laughs> released by Pixar in 2020. The mm. film centers around a pair of brothers who go out on a quest to temporarily revive their never father. This. And along the way, the audience is introduced to who I believe to be Disney's first confirmed lesbian character. That being Officer Spectre. Oh yeah, bro, the monster. White. I remember we learned now, about Officer this. Officer Spectre, unlike LeFou, on stream, doesn't I've learned even about this have on stream. a gay moment. She only verbally references her sexuality by saying that she This monster is hideous, by the way. Oh my god. No, this is this like this monster's hideous. As a girlfriend. According to the BBC, the movie don't was even remember this? banned in several Middle Eastern countries, including Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. And the line about her girlfriend was changed to the gender neutral partner in Russia as to keep her sexuality ambiguous. Following that, in 2021, Disney released the Eternals via Marvel. And within the Eternals, I remember this, there, they had there what, was, uh, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, was Marvel's first gay kiss. This kiss was shared between the characters of Fastos, played by Brian Tyree Henry, and Fastos's husband named Ben, played by Haas Slayman. The kiss made the film a topic of controversy in North Africa and the Middle East. According to Deadline, the film did not plan to release in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Oman. Mm. The article went on to say that in Who said Tommy leaked a reel? <laughs> You're like, y'all can't take anything serious. Shut the f up, okay? Shut up. All right, nah, but I'm thinking, did anybody watch the Eternals? Eternals was actually cool to me. It wasn't that bad. I know some people said it was ass. It was cool to me though. Intimate scenes would have been removed within the United Arab Emirates, Jordan, Lebanon, and no, Egypt. No, no, shit movie. Though I thought it was cool. apparently standard practice for those countries and would apply to homosexual as well as heterosexual moments. Moving on, we have West Side Story. But it wasn't the 1961 classic that was banned, was but Steven time? Spielberg's 2021 remake. The reason behind this ban is because of a character named Anybody's. Now, the character of Anybody's, while small, originally depicted a tomboy that wanted to join one of the gangs in the movie, the Jets, but they weren't allowed mm. to join because the Jets only allowed in boys. In the 2021 remake, Spielberg said that after re-examining the script, he realized that Anybody's was a trans character hiding in plain sight. 
the non-binary actor Iris Menace would play the character who, in this version, was described as a character who was a man born in a female's body. And this creative decision would cause the film to be banned in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Oman, and the UAE. Damn, they added and an extra country, I guess. It was more of the same when it came to Lightyear. Lightyear, of course, was a Pixar-made Toy Story spin-off about Buzz that was released in 2022 to most places around the world, but not in a whopping 14 different countries. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a decent amount of revenue. Holy shit. God damn, bro. The reason was, once again, because of LGBT content. This time, because of a same-sex kissing scene between a character named Alicia Hawthorne and her wife. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Disney would've just, like, cut out the scenes or something for the other countries. <laughs> but they're like, hey, f*** it, bro. I forgot what did it. I think Marvel, like, cuts out scenes, like, for certain countries. Like, I learned in Marvel, in, like, Iron Man, I forgot which one, they added, like, a scene, like, a Chinese doctor. It was for China. Yeah, like, they added, like, a scene for, like, a Chinese doctor or whatever, and to, like, I don't know, like, give morale to the people there, I guess? Like, the government said they wanted to... Uh, Something like that. For that reason, the movie was banned <clears throat> in the UAE, Lebanon, Jordan, Malaysia. Hey, shit, at the end of the day, bro, they're a goddamn company. If I was running the company, I'm like, shit, yo, I'm trying to make this bread. Oh, yeah, which scene do you want me to cut out for your country? And I'm, I'm about to just do it. Indonesia, Egypt, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Palestine, Syria, and Iraq. Notice how more and more countries are banning films now compared to the likes of Beauty and the Beast and onward a few mm. years prior. This would go up even more though. I was about to say, say like eventually bro, I feel like it's going to be a step too far for them. A step too far for them and they're just going to completely ban Disney and like those countries if they if they keep like adding. Because by the adding. time Disney planned to release Strange World, whose main character is gay, it just like decided Zootopia? not to air What's it in more than 20 countries. Likely because it knew that the film had no chance. If countries are going to ban a film simply due to the mentioning of a lesbian relationship or a two second dance, there is no way that they're going to greenlight another that has an LGBT protagonist. And therefore, mm. according to a deadline source that I found, Strange which was confirmed by other yeah, sources, I don't know. Strange I just seen like had we saw it on stream just had ass reviews in all of the Middle East, all I remember. China, Malaysia, Indonesia, Pakistan, Turkey, Vietnam, East Africa, West Africa, the Mold Yo. <laughs> Stop reading the list, bro. How far is this list about to go? How far is this list about to go? God damn. Someone said even Nepal. Yo, I don't know a single nigga from Nepal. God damn. Ethiopia, bro. Anything to do with this stuff, Ethiopia's immediately gonna ban. I already know. Immediately, bro. Because that's just how it is. Honestly, like, probably... Maybe, I think there's some, I want to say there's some African countries that would let it air, I don't know. Maybe like- Maldives, Nepal, and Bangladesh. The Not film Nigeria had a budget banning of 150 million dollars without advertising, and only made mm. back a little Damn. more than 70 million dollars, making it one of Disney's largest ever flops. Whether or not the releases in these countries would have made the film profitable, that's up for debate. No, at but that point, bro, the other one, I forgot which one it said, the one with like one or two countries it was banned, they were probably fine. Bro, like half the country damn near banned your movie. Perhaps soften the blow. You lost the good amount. Nonetheless, it'll be interesting to see how Disney handles its LGBT representation moving forward. Whether it will stick to its guns and carry on making these films, knowing that they'll be banned in various countries, and that this might impact their finances. Or if they'll back down and make cultural adjustments. With a good chunk of Disney films being both critical and commercial failures post-pandemic, desperation might set in. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Bro, it's the, no snow the Snow White might be the nail in the coffin. I mean, I think they're gonna change it now, now that they saw people like getting mad at it or whatever. It's the fact that they didn't want f Bro, <laughs> they didn't even want the little people in the movie because they thought it was gonna offend people. Like, you're just taking away the jobs from the little people that could be in the movie if they were the dwarfs or whatever. It's the fact that they literally are that scared. Like, bro, it, it, it is not that deep. No secret that most of the countries that were banning films due to their LGBT no characters was be bad. were located in the Middle East. And the Middle they East just Tommy. so happens ha, to be the so area funny. in the world that inspired wow. where Aladdin was set. Aladdin is, of course, a Disney movie that had its original cut banned because mm. of an unsavory line. Bro, wasn't the villain like 40 or 60 or something like that? trying to get with like jasmine's like 16 right yo a lot of disney movies just looking back is like crazy <laughs> looking back is like crazy bro like, just aged terribly say the magic words Jafar. genie i wish for you to make me a prince all right yo, yo, woo, woo, woo. 
So Aladdin is from a city called Agrabah, which is a fictional city apparently inspired by Baghdad, the capital of Iraq. During mm. the opening song, titled Arabian four, Nights, four, the opening verse went Arabian to such, Night. Oh, I, I come like from a land from a faraway place where the caravan camels roam. Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face, it's barbaric, but hey, it's home. This verse very quickly came under scrutiny, with many people arguing that it perpetuated negative stereotypes about Arabians. In fact, the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, otherwise known as the ACD, demanded mm. the line be changed. They generally didn't like the representation put to screen. And these mm. days, Aladdin- <laughs> I mean, I've seen some videos, bro. They, they used to goddamn- Slice your hand off if you stole some shit. <laughs> that will show you never did or what else, bro. They just like jail you if you like record in the wrong place. Make the single mistake. So, uh. Nah, let me stop though. Has been hit with the disclaimer screen when you click on it on Disney Plus, telling audiences that it has outdated racial stereotypes. The song was later changed in 1993, so instead of the line where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face, it's since been changed to where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense. And so to mm, this day, that sounds the hard original too. version of the movie is banned. You could not go to the store and see an Aladdin DVD made any time recently that had the original lyric. Somewhat similar to that, let's move on to a movie that has since been banned due to its outdated cultural depictions. That being Song of the South. Oh nah. It's about to be some classic uh racist Disney shit, huh? Feeling wonderful day. So Incoming Song of the South hard is a 1946 film that takes place in Georgia shortly after the abolition of slavery. It stars Jake Uncle Basket Remus? in his final film role, betraying a character me? named Uncle Remus who works on a plantation you look like DJ and friends a young boy named Johnny, played or by Bill Bobby like Driscoll. Him. Now, Uncle Remus is actually a character from old African-American folktales, with the character created by Joel Chandler Harris back in 1881. As with a lot of media featuring African American characters post World War II, their depictions would be deemed as outdated, stereotypical, and potentially offensive by today. I just want to know where they got these stereotypes. That's the thing. Like I think you like even like the watermelon shit. Like I learned apparent. No, the way they got the watermelon shit is crazy. I don't know if I said it before. They literally saw black people were making money from watermelons or whatever, and then they thought they were dirty. Like the one business at, right after slavery or something. Like, when I learned that, I was like, that's, that's actually so wild. They just fucking made up random shit. Like, it's something that was prospering the people. They started making fun of you for it. Like, what? A standards. However, Song of the South was also considered offensive back then, too. You can Dude. find images on the internet of What's people- What's the origin of KFC? I think you could figure that out. Protesting the film even back when it was released. There was a newspaper called The Afro-American, which published a review from Richard B. Dyer, who described the film as as vicious a piece of propaganda for white supremacy KFC isn't as even good. Popeyes better. That's fast. Moreover, Adam Clayton Powell Jr., a congressman from Harlem, branded the film an insult to American minorities and everything that America as a whole stands for. Black mm. audience members didn't like the fact that the black <clears throat> characters within the film were subservient to the white characters. Nah, they bro who's that bro that was fighting back then oh uh, you know you know was uh what's it called you know you know his like fellow pop politicians were like man we don't care about them goddamn or whatever he's they're probably saying why why do you care about them why do you care about them real talk shout out to bro also generally disliked the black characters exaggerated dialects and the reinforcement of black stereotypes in the decades since the film released despite it winning an academy award for its original song zippity doodah disney has tried its best to sever ties to its production it was never distributed on vhs and it hasn't yet nor do i think it will ever be placed on disney plus the film isn't mm. legally banned or anything it's not like if you watch song of the south you're gonna have the fbi burst through your door but disney have essentially so banned it from being distributed good. without piracy in their eyes the less people who see this now regrettable movie the better though the controversies in the song of the south happened such a long time ago so let's discuss a movie that was banned a lot more recently okay. that being agatha christie's death on the nile you will arrest Never me now us. no so long as you're that was a crazy angle for bro i thought it was another world leader and pay back what you owe so, if you don't know this movie, Death on the Nile is the second out of three current Hercule Poirot movies directed by Kenneth Branagh. 
The first of which being Murder on the Orient Express, releasing back in 2017, and the most recent Disney, being A be Haunting honest. in Venice, dropping back in 2023. These murder mystery films tend to have an all-star cast of characters, with actors such as Johnny Depp, Daisy Ridley and Judi mm, Dench starring okay. in The Orient Express, and Tina Fey and Michelle Yeoh starring in A Haunting in Venice. Death on the Nile, on the other hand, does also have quite a stacked cast, but it might as well be a prison lineup because of the controversies that various cast members have been in since the film's production. It stars the likes of Russell Brand, who was cancelled in September 2023 after an investigation conducted by Channel 4 and the Sunday Times alleged that Brand had assaulted and abused a number yeah, of previous I forgot partners, about this story. and it also stars Army Hammer, who to give you a TLDR was cancelled before the film was even released after being accused of sexual abuse and cannibalism. What the f- Wanted to barbecue and eat her ribs amid messaging? What was going on, bro? Does Disney just not do, like, background checks on their actors? Do they, do they not do background checks? Because how the f*** is your main cast member wanting to wanting to eat or get her eat or ribs eaten? I don't, I don't know who was doing the, the rib eating. I don't know who was doing it, all right? Somebody wanted to get freaky with the ribs. Though, despite the pair being amongst Hollywood's most reviled stars right now, neither are the reason that it was banned. With that mm. distinction going to a different member of the cast, Gal Gadot. You see, Gal Gadot, so bad, despite being a very famous actress, used to be a combat instructor for the Israeli Defense Forces for two years as oh, part of shit. her mandatory military service. She's also since been quite vocal in her support for Israel and oh. the IDF. Due to her oh. appearance in the film, Never both mind. Lebanon and Kuwait decided to ban Death on the Nile. And this happened back in early 2022, <clears throat> a good year and a half before the recent Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Lebanon, in fact, had previously banned Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984 due to Godot's mm. presence in the film. So this wasn't- It makes sense for her to be fair. But with Death on the Nile being a Disney film, it qualifies for this video. And I hope that this video qualifies for your approval. If I, I thought Disney, if anything, would've- No, no, actually, no, they didn't ban it. Never mind, never mind. If it did, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already yet. I'm nearing a- mm, Appreciate you. Hey, go sub to Fox Akimbo. Underrated channel, man. I like this information. Uh, banning the character because of the actor is crazy. Hey, bro, shit. They did what they, they, they felt like they had to do, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But overall, man, uh, look. It's crazy how Disney's really shifted. Like, I'm really just thinking, like, they used to make these goddamn movies and then they just switch. Like, it's kind of crazy. But hey, listen, if you're watching on the tube, join the Discord and watch the streams also. Subscribe to Tommy and FG.